as long as Christianity has been around, Christians have been persecuted. Will it ever change? Probably not. Can we be ready? Yes, we can. To live is Christ, to die is gain. G'day everyone, Brian here. I'm going to read from Philippians chapter 1 from verse 27. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you, or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God. The reality of Christian oppression is just a basic historical and current reality. In Australia, we are fortunate that Christians do not have to suffer the violent and aggressive persecution that does happen in other countries. Sadly, still happens in other countries. But in Australia, we do, and it does feel like there is a change happening, and so that if there is an oppression of sorts, it is coming legislatively. That the governments of the day are feeling like they should clamp down on what churches and Christian schools can do, and I'm not altogether sure why they think that's a good thing. The question for Christian people is, how do we respond to that? And Paul gives us some advice here, some ancient advice, that is still helpful and relevant for us today. Stand firm, stand together, contending as one man in one spirit for the faith of the gospel, not being afraid of those who oppose you. So we don't need to be afraid of those who oppose us, though they might be more powerful than us, there is someone more powerful than them. Then Paul makes this comment about a sign, that this will be a sign to them that they will be destroyed and that we will be saved and that by God. Now, we must not assume that that means we should gloat and say, well, you can oppress us all you like. We know we're going to be saved and you're going to be destroyed. Christians should never come across as more righteous than other people, holier than thou, to use their old phrase. What Christianity should be is a group of people standing together in such a way that those who are opposing might want to say, you know, if that's what Jesus is, then that's actually pretty attractive. If you're opposing Christianity, I'd like to know why. For those who are Christian people, we can stand firm. God is on our side and we are safe in his salvation. Have a great day. All being well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.